Hello everybody and welcome to part one of What If Naruto Was a Senju. So a little bit of backstory. I've been watching a lot of like theories or what ifs. Total Remix, I've been reading a lot of those on Wattspad, like the Naruto Legacy story uh, is one of my personal favorites, so I guess I kind of want to reiterate one of it, but uh, you know, I make the story, so for the background and how Naruto is related to the Senju clan, we're gonna make it that Minito's mother was actually Tsunade, and some random senju dude so we just don't make naruto like a fourth senju he needs to at least be half kushina is still kushina and uh let's go this story actually starts when naruto is about five years old oh yeah, yeah 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 by the way i forgot instead of only seeing like half of kurama in naruto uh, Minato actually seals the entirety of him. So, people hate him even more. So anyway. This story begins as Naruto is walking down an alleyway. Uh, multiple villagers are, like, chasing after him and crap and, like, beating the crap out of him. Saying that they'll finish what the fourth started. So, as they're doing this... Naruto's getting the crap beat out of him. Naruto's arm actually turns into a wooden pole. Uh, and pushes them away. And everyone sees it and tells the Hokage. The demon has some sort of bloodline Keke Genkai like the Sharingan. Huh. <laughs> the demon Sharingan. He was able to copy the wood style or something from a scroll of ceiling with his demon Sharingan. Huh. <laughs> But, uh, here is in knowing that that's not true, or anything related to that, and also knowing who Naruto's father was and who, how he's how he's full Senju and stuff, jaw drops. He immediately calls in Yamato and Jiraiya, and of course Naruto. He orders Yamato to train Naruto and the wood style and he orders uh Jiraiya to train Naruto in the Rasengan as well as Sage Art. And Hirazin says, since you're actually one of the last Senju, um, other than your grandma, uh Tsunade. So basically he tells him who his parents are and then Naruto gets a little pissed, saying, like, Why didn't you tell me before? And he said it was, like, for your own safety, but now I can't really hide it from you anymore. He said, uh, your grandma Tsunade, and he says, okay. So, he... He goes off on a training trip. Oh, and before he does, uh... Hiruzen gives Naruto a scroll of everything uh, all of his father's jutsus all of the uzumaki ceiling jutsus uh the flying thunder god which naruto will take a while to master but he he's still gonna know it by the end of this the flying rajin uh eight trigram seal you know all the ceiling jutsu uh, he's gonna be a level 10 ceiling master pretty quickly and uh also, just giving Naruto a scroll of every single Senju Jutsu that is in the Leaf's possession. Like, the Tobirama's uh, reanimation, and, uh, you know, sealing, you know, explosive paper bomb uh, clone Jutsu, and just, you know, Senju. Just all the Senju good stuff. As well as just some wood, uh, not wood, earth, water, and wind style jutsu because they use chakra paper to find out his chakra affinity. So, they, Yamato and Jiraiya, uh, start 
a very long training trip where instead of Naruto going to the academy, they go to Mount Moboku. Well, not Mount Moboku, they do at the very end to get sage training. Uh, so he becomes a level 10 ceiling master and is very close to mastering the flying thunder god or the flying rajin has fully mastered the the rasengan uh and the massive rasengan he's a level 10 seal master uh a level 10 sword master because his kenjutsu is actually uh, comparable to Sasuke's during the the Kage Summit, Summit arc. It's uh, very good except it uses woods, uh, not wood style, wind style, wind release. Um, and he has his wood release is on par with Yamato's and he's 12 years old currently. He also has the basics of sage training down. So that is what happened in the time skip. Uh, he also ha has the basics of reanimation down and has mastered the explosive tag jutsu and clone jutsu and the shuriken clone jutsu as well as shadow clones but he doesn't really need that because he has wood clones but he will need it to train faster because you know the shadow clone reconnaissance memory like training technique he will need that in the future and it doesn't work with wood clones so yeah he comes back at 12 years old being high jonin bordering low kage level he is still put on Sasuke's team because why the frick not? And they do their first D rank missions, and Naruto says, Bro, what the hell? This sucks. Oh, uh, I was trained by Jiraiya, the legendary Sonin, and I'm really doing D ranks. At least give me a C rank. So, even and Sasuke completely agrees. So they go to the Hokage. Uh, you know, here's in Zeratobi to get a higher rank mission. He says, sure, actually, there's a C rank mission available. Uh, so, and the client's actually waiting for us. So the bridge builder, uh, opens the door immediately and says, huh, this is my escort. Oh. And Hiruzen actually exposes Kakashi's identity immediately and says, Actually, that's Kakashi of the Sharingan, a legendary Jonin. And he, uh, the bridge builder immediately shuts his mouth. So, as they're walking, the demon brothers come, but Naruto already sensed it. And... Uh, used his wind cloak, which is very similar to the Raikage's lightning cloak in the turn of the Rasengan to get one of them, and then wood pulled the other one. S uh, so Sasuke couldn't do anything nor could Kakashi. They kept moving, and uh, Naruto, you know, throws the kunai in the bush and Sakura yells at him because oh Naruto you idiot that was just a poor little bunny rabbit uh but then Kakashi has the same realization in canon of wait a minute why this is that uh bunny white it's not even winter time and then as soon as that happens the sword flies through the air Kakashi saying get down as it lands in the tree, Zabuza, Demon of the Mist, Captain of the Seven Ninja Swordsman of the Mist, lands on top of it. That's where I'm going to leave it off for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Uh, if you did, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, I'm going to set a like goal of uh, two likes if you guys want part two. Uh, on another note, I've been wanting to do what ifs like this for a while. So, uh, <laughs> I, uh, really love doing these, even if I, this is my first one. I can already tell I love doing this. Uh, yeah, uh, please, I want support for this series. Uh, yeah, just please like, share, share to a friend, maybe. Hopefully, if you can take the time out of your day, probably you won't. But, uh, yeah, that was it for What If Naruto Was a Senju Part 1. And I'll see you guys next time.